We're here at the, the Blue Stem Research Range, uh, about 10 miles southwest of Stillwater. We're about, uh, about 20 minutes from campus. Blue Stem Research Range consists of about 820 acres, more or less, 260 of which are improved pastures, uh, which is in two tracks. The improved pastures are split into, say, 12 grazing cells uh, with electric fence. Some of the other pastures, uh, native grass pastures, are also split with electric fence. And then the balance of the acreage, about 550 acres, is, is tall grass prairie savanna, post oak savanna, in the, in the cross timbers. And uh, we've got that divided with electric fence into, into six or eight pastures too, so we can, we can certainly do some, uh, some replicated grazing research with native range. We checkerboard, i.e. we have one block that our headquarter unit sits on, then uh, 200 acres of improved pasture sits across the road at a quarter mile, and then we checkerboard in other pastures for almost a three mile stretch. So uh, sometimes movement of cattle is, is a challenge, uh, especially when I'm by myself. Typically I have one to three cattle dogs that I'm working with me. Uh, I, I typically don't have very much student help, especially during the school semester. So I use uh, uh, stock dogs. I have uh, my own dogs and, and they're uh, Border Collie Australian Kelpie crosses that I've bred and raised. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> we do uh, a lot of stalker cattle grazing research here at this unit. Uh, most of that is concentrated in the summertime. We've got warm season perennial forages here, and we do uh, a lot of research with grazing systems and supplementation work in stalker cattle. This, uh, this range station uh, complements our other units at the, in the Department of Animal Science. We focus primarily on stalker cattle production here and most of the other research stations for the university are cow-calf. This will uh, give the university an opportunity to develop and explore research for the stalker cattle industry from that phase from when they ship their wean calves prior to them going to the feedlot. When cow-calf enterprises wean their calves in the fall, typically, uh, a lot of those calves will be grazed on pasture uh, and potentially add 200, 300 pounds of body weight to those cattle on, on pasture uh, before they go to the feed yard. The tall grass native prairie system that is in this area and up into the Osage County are, are noted for uh, being able to produce uh, stalker cattle uh, gains that are cheap and efficient and, and so we're trying to tap in on some of that. It also uh, would allow people to transfer cattle from here then straight on to a wheat pasture, which is uh, important to Oklahoma farming industry. For the most part, the, the work that we do here at the Blue Stem Range is really representative of commercial stocker cattle production on, on warm season pastures. And so I think it's valuable for students to see that, to see that kind of operation, to see the scale that we have here, and see the logistics that uh, it takes to manage uh, a large number of stalker cattle.